Hey YouTube, this is Just One. I'll give you a five or six month update on the tank and the equipment. I'm not sure what brand the tank is. Things like 30 years old. It was my dad's. It's 55 gallon. It's plumbed. <clears throat> That's all I want to know about it. But um, first with the fluorite. It's really good for growing plants, but it's kind of dissolving. I think maybe where goldfish are moving around all the time and sucking the algae off. It's made out of clay. Getting low spots. And you can't just add a bag because it'll cloud the whole thing up. But it was way higher. Would I use fluoride again? Yeah, not with goldfish though. So and then we have the we go to marine land, the C220 Magnaflow. I mean it works good, but the impeller shaft is broken. It sprung a leak in one of those in the intake. And this thing's kind of a pain in the ass. I don't know if I'd do this again. Not for the price. The um the Sun Sun 303B HW 303B that thing works great. I've only had to clean it out a few times. It's got a lot of flow, holds a lot of media. I can't complain about this. The Sun Sun does a really good job. And the um Finex 24/7 Planet Plus. Yeah, I'd buy this again. I'd buy a cheaper version. But I'd be like this late. It does work well. I don't use any of the modes or anything. But, man, does stuff grow with it. I just you would, wouldn't believe how much stuff I pulled out of this tank yesterday. And then the AquaClear 70. Yeah, I'd definitely buy this again. This freaking filter is a beast. It's deeper back than any other hang on the back I've ever had. But it's not a big deal. That thing holds a lot of media, a lot of water flow. It does its job. <coughs> Anyways, that's about all I got for you on this. I mean, the fluorite.